いや世界は常に変化する15番目だ How's it going, everybody? It's e y o n g here, and welcome to day 25 of the Final Fantasy XV Countdown Retrospective. Before you proceed, I highly recommend you check out day 26, in which I discussed a massive information blowout from Japanese sources Famitsu and Dengeki following E3 2013. In this video, I'll be discussing new information revealed throughout the month of July 2013, this time from French media outlets. There is a lot to talk about, so without further ado, let's dive right into it. Following the release of Famitsu and Dangeki's interviews with game director Tetsuya Nomura on June 24th, 2013, which Kimatsu translated three days later on June 27th, the following month, on July 5th, 2013, French websites Final Land and Final Fantasy Dream managed to score their own exclusive interview with Nomura during the Japan Expo 2013 event hosted in Paris, France. They released the full transcript of the interview that very same day. With English translation and all. The first half of the interview mostly revolved around Kingdom Hearts, so let's skip all that and talk about the part where Nomura talks about Final Fantasy XV. They began by asking him about the game's fashion. Nomura explained the process of designing XV's costumes as follows. Obviously, I always think about the current kind of trend and fashion and everything when I create the characters. But this time, for 15 and Noctis and all the main characters that have been revealed, this time we actually asked for a professional brand to create the characters' outfits. We also have the actual clothes in the office so our CG team and all the teams can actually see the clothes with their own eyes to create exactly the same image in the game. And that's really easier because previously, when I created the characters, all the CG team and all of our Our entire development team always asked me, is this leather? Is this cotton? Is this nylon? How many percentage? Da 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 da. That's a lot of detailed questions, so it's always difficult to precise what kind of texture are the clothes made of and stuff like that. So that's why this time we had the actual clothes made, and then we take it from there and put it in the game. Nomura was then asked about his favorite character among the ones that he's created, and his answer ended up yielding some interesting new information about Noctis. Here's what he said Hmm, if I had to choose a favorite character, I would say Sora and Noctis. Why them? Of course, Sora, I've been together with him for more than 10 years now. This is the first time I've been with a character for such a long time, so he's very, very special for me, and he's been adopted by Disney also, so he's a very, very good boy, more like a good son, actually. Also, there is Noctis. He hasn't been in front of you, I mean, moving, etc., yet in a real gameplay, but he will soon, in the future. Do you know the name Sora means the sky in Japanese and Noctis? His family name is Kalem, which means sky as well. So basically, Noctis means night sky. So they're kind of complete opposites to each other. There's a reason why I named these characters as opposites. Noctis is kind of like my latest boy or latest son, and I expect him to be more clever than Cloud. Moving on, Final Land and Final Fantasy Dream asked about what we can expect from vehicles in Final Fantasy XV. Nomura said, We don't have any big plans for having different types of vehicles and stuff like that. There is one you saw in the recent trailer, of course. Well, two things you probably could use. First, the car. The car is going to be the vehicle you'll use probably the most in the game. The other one, the Magitek armor, you can actually control and ride the Magitek armor as well. In a future reveal, you'll probably find more. Then, when inquired about the possibility of being able to ride motorcycles, Nomura said that this probably wouldn't work in 15 because of the fact that you're always with your party members. Even after the interviewer suggested a gang like motif similar to Kadach, Laws, and Yazu from Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, Nomura simply said that it probably won't look so good in this game. The next topic revolved around the main female character who was still known as Stella back then. In the Final Fantasy XV reveal trailer at E3 2013, it was subtly hinted that the character had received a bit of a makeover. But it looks like even by July 2013, the name change from Stella to Luna had yet to take place. Having noticed the character redesign, Final Land and Final Fantasy Dream asked why Nomura changed Stella's design to make her look so much younger. 
Nomura replied, there is no specific reason behind it, but we didn't want to make her look younger. We just wanted to make her a little bit prettier, that's all. This was then followed up with, when I created Stella back in 2007, I actually created something that is not my type of character, but obviously time has passed since then, about six years now, and then she actually became something that I quite like now. Nomura was then asked about Noctis's eyes and how they turn red on certain occasions, wondering if the red eyes would give him any kind of special powers. Nomura responded with, In the last promotional trailer, Noctis got red eyes because he got the ability of teleportation. So that's why when he did that, his eyes got red. Actually, Visual Works created the trailer back in 2007. When you actually play the game, you can't really see and zoom in the face of the character anyway. And he moves very fast as well, so... If the character's face is actually seen zoomed in on the screen, we probably could still make his eyes red, but we haven't decided whether we're gonna need the red eyes or not. The interviewers then asked about the tone of the game, stating that the game looks very serious and fatalist, and wondering if there would be some fun moments or fun mini-games. Nomura's response was, We're actually thinking about having some sort of fun elements in the game, but for the moment, the priority is to create the main game itself. I will add or not add stuff like that depending on how the development of the main game goes, but yeah, we are thinking about that. The interview then went off on a tangent about possibly making one of the Final Fantasy game settings based on France or a city of France, to which Nomura said he'll think about it, which was then followed by a question on whether there would be any female playable characters in 15. All Nomura said is that he can't say anything specific now, but mentioned it would be quite difficult to have a girl playable. The interview then went off into another tangent about the possibility of dual audio, which is when a game offers the choice of language for voices. In this case, the interviewers were hoping to be able to play with the original Japanese voices instead of the English voices, and with French subtitles. All Nomura could say is that such a request should be taken up to Square Enix, concluding his reply with a, we'll see. Now, from what I know today, I believe the final version of the game will end up implementing dual audio with matching lip sync and everything, so that's pretty cool. The interviewers then delved into questions regarding 15's game mechanics, starting with an inquiry on whether it's game over if Noctis dies in the game. Nomura replied, At some point I said that the game was going to be over when Noctis died, when we were talking about Versus 13. But now, as Versus 13 became Final Fantasy 15, we haven't decided that actually, so we can't really say if it's going to change or not. We'll see. Nomura was then asked if players will be able to customize weapons and equipments of characters. Unfortunately, he couldn't say anything about that at the time. Moving on, he was asked about the recent addition of Hajime Tabata as the game's co-director, with the question being what he will bring to the 15 team. Nomura responded, The reason why we brought Tabata-san into the team is because he always said to me that he wanted to join the Final Fantasy XV project. I asked him into the team, his vitality and mentality are always very motivated and very high. In the future campaign and until the game is out, Tabata-san himself will be going to speak in front of you guys more often, so please ask him in details when he's available. The final question regarding 15 was if we can expect Nomura to work on Final Fantasy 15 2 after the completion of the first game. Nomura said, obviously we haven't decided yet. We don't have any concrete plans for a future sequel of Final Fantasy 15. It would be good if we could do that, but we can't announce it or say anything into detail for the moment, so wait for future information. So that about wraps up this interview, but there was one more interview that Nomura did during Japan Expo 2013, this time with French website Final Fantasy World. Their article was released later that month on July 24th, 2013, and while this time it was all written in French, website Nova Chrysalis managed to release a full English summary that very same day, so I'll be using their article to relay this information. The interview's first subject relating to 15 was regarding Yoko Shinomura's involvement as composer. Nomura basically talked about how with Kingdom Hearts, he had her compose music scene by scene, but with Final Fantasy 15, he gave her the overall image from the start, along with some examples of what types of music to use. So while she is composing for both Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 15, the two projects are being approached very differently. Nomura was also asked at some point if his vision of the game has changed throughout what was then seven years of development. 
Nomura admitted, yes, I probably mentioned the old school Final Fantasy feeling when talking about Final Fantasy XV. If you see the trailer, you might actually think it's very action-based, especially compared to previous Final Fantasies. We wanted to create like an action-based Final Fantasy this time because we wanted to create a dynamic feeling between the story and the game itself. Of course, we are going to put many Final Fantasy elements into it, because otherwise there's no point in calling it Final Fantasy XV. Naturally, we still think we should have some old-school Final Fantasy feeling to the game. The interviewer then asked if what Nomura said two years ago about how real-time cutscenes in Versus 13 would all be playable still holds true with Final Fantasy XV. Nomura responded, Yeah, I would like to achieve that as much as I can. Our goal is to ensure that the player never actually stops playing. This is the reason behind it, and it will be great if we can achieve that. The final question asked about Hajime Tabata's recent addition to the Final Fantasy XV team, and Nomura had nothing but positive things to say about him. He said, He's been doing a great job already, meeting with the team on a daily basis to discuss development and everything. He's extremely passionate about the project. Thus concludes all of the information we learned about the highly anticipated game for the month of July 2013. And with that, I would like to conclude today's episode of the Final Fantasy XV Countdown Retrospective. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts and opinions about all of this information. And to be further updated on all things Final Fantasy, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah! I'll see you guys next time! Yong out!